Any time someone mentions the word brook trout, it takes me to this special place. I can't help but think about heading to the mountains, cold water streams, spending time with your good friends after these beautiful fish. It just doesn't get much better than that. And although we travel hundreds of miles to these streams, the yellow dots and the red and blue halos seem to make every hour on the road worth landing just one of these fish to the net. never works like this. <laughs> There's just something a little different about the mountains of northern Pennsylvania, whether it be the thousands of miles of native brook trout streams, the clear night sky, or sitting around a campfire late at night. But one thing's for sure, when I think about native brook trout fishing, there's no place I'd rather be than the mountains of northern Pennsylvania, home to the native brook trout. Water County brook trout there. Dude, get in there again. Right, right Dude, on the side of I don't know if I'll top that fish for the weekend. Out, no, that's gonna be, hard. That's a be a hard fish to beat there. Do you see it dart my dry under? Oh my god. Like a freaking missile. Right there, yeah. That's another big one. <laughs> the fish came the entire way out of the water from my from my dry fly. <laughs> Caleb, can you zoom in on that right there? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be epic. Hold on. Look at him eating that right there. He's eating a blue winged olive. That's what he's going for. It's all for you, birthday boy. I think you missed one, though. I think you're holding out. I think you missed two guys on purpose. It'll feel good. Huh? It'll feel good. He's just been blessed by the Potter County dog. That was all for you, dude. Now you're gonna catch a 15 incher.